testing. Welcome back everyone. Today I am going to remake ultra view of a Beretta PX4 store storm. Okay. So a little bit information. Uh, Beretta P PX4 storm is a manufactured by Beretta. Okay. So it it use a short recoil rotating barrel action from Beretta 8000. Okay. And uh, the trigger and safety system from Barretta 92. It was produced in 2004. Okay. And that's a little bit of information for this model. Okay. It fire uh, for, for, the, for the Smith & Wesson. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes. For the Smith and Wesson. Let's let's begin. But before we begin, as usual, don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not. If you do, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, and also, if you interested to become a member, please consider becoming a member of uh, tier one, tier two, and tier three you can choose which membership you want the expensive one is tier 3 ex uh, cheapest one is tier 1 uh, and middle one is tier 2 which is a, a economical price for you if you're interested so let's go back so this is px for storm let's remove this and this okay also this and trigger housing unit also yeah, I'm gonna remove it. Maybe not yet. Okay. So I'm gonna fire it directly like this. So when you fire when you fire, you pull the trigger, the trigger bar. You go forward and as you can see, the sear and the firing pin catch lever. It move up. This firing pin catch lever moving up, pushing the firing pin catch to clear away from the firing pin. So this this is for safety. Okay, firing pin catch. So if you if if something happened and the hammer accidentally releasing and hitting the firing pin, it, it will not fire because the catch is right there. So you, so firing will happen if the trigger is pulled okay and not by accident like it's to prevent accident so firing pin catch here with catching the firing pin okay so when you pull the trigger you automatically clear away the firing pin to move and then you releasing the hammer by disconnect the sear from the hammer right here so when you pull the trigger so this is trigger bar right here okay the contact was right there okay from down here okay the contact was right here happened right here okay so like that i think the firing pin actually it's not hitting the firing pin directly but the firing pin puncher okay so when you pull the trigger the fire firing pin catch lever push up the firing pin catch allowing the firing pin to be fired and then the sear will disconnect from the hammer the hammer hitting the firing pin plunger and it carry the momentum and hitting the firing pin the firing pin go forward hitting the primer primer is fire the blowback happen and so it's it's uh, it's uh, the barrel was locked like by twisting uh, lock like it, it was twist rather than uh, the barrel will tilt this front barrel will tilt up okay. so this the, the the barrel lock was in rotation not like a 
like you know uh, like you changing the like compared to uh six hour design it's rotating so the blowback happened the barrel will rotate back until it hits the central block here and then the round will be extracted by the extractor ejected casing ejected new round, new round is pushed in okay and then the slide will pull will push the barrel forward to lock position okay So that's how the ejection work, I guess. If you if you're interested with the ejection and the firing the firing mechanism, firing system. So you pull the trigger. Trigger bar will push the firing pin catch lever, and in turn it will push up the firing pin catch, and also the trigger bar will push away the sear. To disconnect from the hammer, allowing the hammer to hitting the plunger, the firing pin plunger, and the firing pin hitting the primer, and the whole thing's happen again. So that's firing mechanism. Firing mechanism. So let's see a uh, safety or, or decocker. So it's very similar to a uh, Barretta 92 FS. Okay. So what you do here is you rotate. Right, like this, and you're rotating the safety lever, you uh, disconnect the sear from the hammer, letting the hammer fall like that. Okay, but remember the hammer never hit the firing pin plunger in time, so the safety mechanism is uh, active and working. Also, when you turn on the safety, as you can see. This part here, safety right safety lever, is pushing down the trigger bar. Okay. So because if the trigger bar it will uh, if the trigger bar is is not pushed down, you will have a little bit problem there. Like the the hammer. Uh, like if the trigger bar is not pushed down like that, the hammer will not fall correctly because this part, this cutout here will catch in the trigger bar. So the trigger bar need to be pushed down. So you push down trigger bar. You move away the firing pin plunger. Also, you disconnect the sear from the fire uh, from the hammer. Now everything is safe and decock. Okay. Now let's cock it again. Sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. Okay, let's begin. Uh, so you cock it again, simply you rotate the safety into uh, off position. So when you uh, turn off the safety, you basically allowing the you basically allowing the trigger bar to go up uh, right here into the position to engage the hammer, and you allow this the the hammer release lever. Okay. You allow it to to disconnect from the sear, disengage from the sear, allowing the sear into this position, which is very important because if you're firing from the cock position, the trigger will be very happy, very heavy, not happy, very heavy because you you directly uh, pull the hammer like this. So when you're firing in the cock position. So that when you pull the trigger, the trigger bar will will engage the hammer, pulling it back. Also, 
the trigger bar is engaging the firing pin cache lever to allow the firing pin to be uh, used okay to be pushed forward to hitting the primer there you can see the primer here so the firing pin cache lever the firing pin cache need, need to be moved okay so the trigger basically when you pull the trigger you're uh, pulling the hammer and uh, the firing pin catch lever allowing the for the for the firing pin to go up okay so like you're moving two things per t per trigger pro okay so can you pull that like that you see so you see here So you see the, the trigger bar engaging the hammer and then when it's disconnect the hammer will fall hitting the firing pin the firing pin plunger firing pin move forward hitting the primer as you can see okay now the slide go back from the blowback pushing down the trigger bar allowing it to engage the sear like like that so let's go back to normal like that. Okay. So the trigger bar is pushed down by the by this slide. Okay, you see. Go down like that. Very nice. Okay. So that's firing from uh, the decock position uh, position. After safety on and then off, we fire it. It will be very heavy trigger pull. This is we fire it from this far, this far away. You see, watch the trigger. You see, it was like right here. So, so that's firing safety on off. Uh, like we usually do, which is uh, the ejection, how it eject, firing, so you can see this is ejector uh, hammer housing unit, also like there is uh, the ejector was right here, together with the hammer housing unit, so it kicking the 40, 40, 40 Smith and Wesson. Okay, I don't know how they call it. 10 millimeter, something like that. Smith and Wesson. Okay, so it was ejected like that. So that's ejection. Okay. Also, don't forget to review the reload. Okay, reload for was uh, you push from over here, allowing the magazine to be dropped like that. Once again, like that. Testing, testing. Okay. So that's reloading. My ba battery is about to go up, so I'm gonna make it fast. Uh, what else? What else? Okay. I'm gonna find it until empty. If there is a bolt field open, not bolt field, slide, slide catch. Okay. So there is catch, slide, uh, slide catch over there. Oh, my mistake, I should have. Okay, so. Okay, wrong. Right here. So the magazine, magazine, not magazine spring, the follower, oh my God. The follower will push up the slide catch, which is catching this cutout over here, stopping the slide when, when empty. Okay. I'm gonna repeat again. From here, 
watch it carefully. So some people who watch my video, they did not watch uh, carefully or uh, the whole video and then asking question that I already answered in the video. So you need to watch carefully. So don't repeat question that make you look stupid. So, so now the slide catch is right here. You can push it down with your thumb. Reloading, uh, reloading, no, reloading a slight release. Okay, like that. Now flashlight. Okay, right on this. Okay, from from this point. Right on off. Okay, back strap. Not important to me, but whatever. Okay, so that's it. Yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, as usual, like and subscribe. Uh, become a member if you're interested support the channel and uh, become become the part of the of the history of the channel so thank you very much for watching don't forget to like subscribe i'm waiting okay thank you uh, i will see you in the next video bye bye